Cause I don't give a fuck what you say Yeah, I'ma do shit my way So you can go kick rocks I'ma stack bricks up, build what I want to make Hey guys, what's going on? It's your host, your boy, George Mackay Back again with the MLW Rewind And as you know, I never do this alone On the screen left to me Or right to me, depending on how you're watching it It's my left, but your right Would be the one and only Uncle Bobby B That's right, my podcast life partner How you doing, Bobby? I'm uh, I'm a, I'm a little tired. I had to work today, so you know it's yeah, sucks when you have to do when you have to have a job, and I have to actually go into the office. You know, like I'm not down with that. I don't know how I did that for so long, and I don't know how people keep doing that shit. It's uh, it's the world we live in. But uh, I mean, hey, you know, COVID is still very much apparent. Yet we're all just learning to deal with it, apparently. So, and how we deal with it is by continuing to do what we do. And here on the rewind, we do watch alongs. Of MLW, which is great. MLW Fusion. We are watching tonight's episode. So if you're watching along with us, thank you so much for joining it. If you're watching it after, hey, great. Thanks for coming and checking out what our thoughts and opinions are after. And shall we get into it? We shall. I think we should. All right, here we go. Oh. Davey Richards promo. Huh. Okay, so we're showing some Davey highlights here. Yeah, talking about he's been wrestling since he was 10 years old. You know, it's a promo probably for the upcoming match with, you know, the one and only suplex assassin who we've had on the show multiple times. I love Alex Kane, man. They, like, this guy is just so... Great guy. Great guy, great person outside of the ring, great person in the ring, great talent. And it's talking about, I guess, the unraveling. They're going back to the unraveling of Myron Reed joining Boom IA, turning his back on Davey. Mm-hmm. And uh, what was the team... Uh... Wasn't it top flight? No, no. What the fuck was Davy Richards' fight team called? Like Team Inspire or something? I forget. I can't remember. It's irrelevant, really. But now we know we're going to get Davy versus uh, Alex Kane tonight for the open weight title, and I cannot we're... wait for this. They're showing some prior uh, history between the two men. Absolutely. Showing about the unraveling. Myron yeah. Reed turning his back on Davey. That wink from Myron. I love it. The seriousness. The three-on-one assault. And then the gym bag, which we weren't really sure what was in the gym bag. They never really pulled out anything from the gym bag. Oh, it was yeah, that's right. They pulled out Myron Reed's jacket. The American pup. I still think that's a that should be an, that they should have came out with a shirt. Like they did they, with Crybaby Baby Calvin, they should have. Yep, absolutely, absolutely. should have. They missed the boat on that. So that's our main event for tonight's fusion. We know we also got a couple other great matches. We got Killer Cross going at Matt Cross, which, as we know, Matt Cross is the guy you put in the ring when you want to put somebody over. Obviously, all this stuff was pre-taped before Cross and Scarlett Bordeaux returned to WWE. But uh, still, I gotta say, I enjoyed seeing Cross in the Battle Riot. I actually enjoyed the match with Scarlett Bordeaux last night because we don't really get to see her wrestle too often. Last week, sorry, so it was nice to see that. And, I mean, you know, you can't uh, – Matt Cross, Killer Cross should be a dynamite, dynamite fight. Yeah, I think that'll be a banger. Um, unfortunately, there is some history with MLW and WWE. I don't know what's going on if that lawsuit is still pending or what, but – uh, doubtful we'll see the two companies working together or doing each other favors anytime soon. So uh, I think we can rule out any uh, Killer Cross spots coming back to MLW. No, after these first TV tapings. And we've also got, I believe we got Trios action, if I'm not mistaken. Or not uh, trios, no, I think it's uh, Los Maximos against... Uh, oh, geez. It's... Uh, I know this because I was looking at the preview. But my, my brain just ain't functioning, man. It's low smash. Small and SWAT team. Small and SWAT there we team. go. There you go. Yeah, there you go. And uh, you know what? I got to say, I don't know if anybody realizes the new graphics that they're using in MLW, but I really enjoy the fighting style thing underneath. We know that the Los Maximos is hybrid, and we know Small and SWAT team is straight brawling. Juicy for two. Lance Wani. Juicy. juicy f- yeah. Juicy Finau and uh, Lance Anawi. They uh, are been making waves since they dropped in MLW. They're getting a lot of TV time. They're getting a lot of action. Uh, they're they've well, got personality. Connected. It also helps. Sorry to cut you off. It also helps being connected to Jacob too. A hundred percent does. Um, 
And then, of course, we're seeing what happened at Battle Riot two weeks ago with Real One uh, trying to be sneaky with Fatu and that blowing up in his in his face. Well, I mean, listen, we all know what would have happened if uh, he would have won. Rob would have rioted. Rob would have wrote Court Bauer an email and it would have not been good. No, I, I, I wouldn't have. I just think, I do you want, who do you want to, what match would you prefer to see? Alexander Hammerstone and Jacob Fatu or Alexander Hammerstone and Real One? Uh, that's that's a pretty easy question, I think, for a lot of MLW fans to answer. Well, there you go. The oh, Spanish so you think you agree team. with me that Real One and Alex Hammerstone? I can't even say with a straight face. No, you can't. I can't. I can't. <laughs> Oh, Spanish announce team doesn't look like they want to get in the ring, so uh, yeah. the SWAT hey, team's going to bring it to them. Yeah, well, you know what? It's great to see. It, it's I love it when I see somebody. Look at that. Juicy catch of both, man. This guy's a beast, man. But he's probably such a nice guy. Oh, here we go. Lance is going to fly. Yep. Juicy is a pretty nice guy from what I hear. Everybody Woo! just – look at Juicy absorb. Juicy that didn't even that. go down. Nah, man. Didn't even go down to a knee. Just literally – Good leaned. God. No, no, no. Ooh, big chop there. I will there. say this. The more I see Lance wrestle, the more I see the upside. And I, 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 I think MLW is a great place for him because of the simple fact that they can definitely polish him up. Putting him with Fatu is great. I mean, him getting to kind of learn. And I see a lot of similarities between him and Fatu, the way they strike, the headbutt there. It's very, very similar to Jacob Fatu in a lot of the ways when they wrestle. It's very Samoan. Very, very much so Samoan. Oh, Lance, head of steam now. Oh, Los Maxwells, man, they got so much speed. Look at that. Insecurity to the front, Oof. kick to the back. Very nice. Uh, I don't know why they went for the pin there way too early. But, I, I mean, I get it. Going for a pin. Got to try. Well, yeah, but also, too, it exerts a lot of energy when you have to kick out of multiple pin attempts, right? Mm-hmm. So. so, Juicy just, or, uh, excuse me, Lance just getting thrown around right now. Well, I mean, and, and Los Maximos, I mean, they're a decorated tag team. They've been around the block and then some. So they're they're doing it old school, right? Quick tags, cutting the ring off, not letting any space between Lance and, and Juicy, not letting Lance get any kind of opening right now. So mm -hmm. it's just tag team wrestling one-on-one. I love it. The quick tags in and out. It, it's picture perfect. Los Maximos are a great tag team. And I feel like this, you know, getting back with MLW, this will be great to see them, you know, kind of show that they still got to, oh, look at that tag on Juicy. Ref did see it. I don't think uh, Los Maximos knows that Juicy's a legal man right now. Well, they do now. Oof. Now they do. Oh, and no. Juicy's asking for the crowd support here. He's getting pumped. Oh, oh yeah. There was there he, a lot of time to duck out of the way. And I love Juicy, but the man does not have, you know, a lot of speed. Look at that. Oh, almost vintage Hardy Boys right there. Oh, oh, caught him. Juicy catching him in the corner and uh, giving him a spine buster on to his partner. There we go, Lance. And Lance looking Buckle for the power bomb. bomb. And uh, here comes Juicy, like a freight train. Oh, that's not even fair. Oh, that hurts. Yeah, I, I that'll adjust your back. Well, Lance going in now. Wow, cannonball. Yeah, very nice. Oh, nice. geez, that should do it. Wow, kick out it too. Oh, oh, wow, is right. Now, don't forget, man. I, you said that should do it. I, I didn't see Los Max was going down that early. You gotta give some time here. Mm. That's a nice kick to the Ooh. face. Bam. They are MLW originals. That's true. That is true. Absolutely. Oh, Lance. High risk, high reward. Nope. Took too much time. Mm -hmm. Right now, it's a two on one because there's no juicy. I don't know where. I think juicy's on the outside somewhere. We're going to have, what, double Spanish fly? Looks like they're setting up for it. I don't know if it's going to work. Oh, he's Oof. fighting out of it. This is risque. Oh, there's Juicy. He's back. Oh, here we're going to have a double powerbomb spot. Could be a double Samoan drop right now. Yeah, double Samoan drop. Oh, man. How is Juicy keeping his balance right now? Wow. Wow. Okay. Now it's over. Maybe now a it's definitely flash. Over. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Nice match. You know, quick and clean. I liked it. Um, it's good. You know, Juicy uh, limited to what he can do, but showing his power right there. That double Simone drop was pretty sweet. Uh, Simone SWAT team, they're on a roll. I don't think since debuting in MLW, 
they have lost in tag team action, which has been cool. No, they're getting some steam, which is nice. Look at that. Like, Juicy didn't even go down. Well, they're showing right now how quickly they could easily become the number one contenders for, uh, you know, Hustle and Powers tag team titles, right? Mm-hmm. Crowd seems to be into them. Crowd likes them. It's a good thing. And we're still we're still showing the Fallout highlights from uh, Battle Riot. Yeah, strong first quarter for this episode. I love that. That was a great shot. Mads Mortar just getting a chair right at... Uh... Hmm. Oof. What do you think of the new mask on Kruger? You like it? I like it. I, th- I think he had to dump the old one after uh, Riddler came out because it was just so damn similar, which is unfortunate because he, he was using it first. But yes, I like the is- new design. The, the, the No mouth flap. Here comes Mance, and uh, he's angry. He's drinking. He's thinking. He's drinking. He's thinking. I like it. Well, he's calling out Mads Kruger. I, I think this rivalry could be good. It, it takes Kruger out of the title picture, which he doesn't really need to be involved in right now. And mm-hmm. it gives Mance some steam, uh, you know, for his, uh, you know, return to MLW. Because if I'm not mistaken, Mance Warner was in the early days of MLW as well, was he not? I believe so. Yeah. Oh, Micro Man. So. Oh, no. Is he going to steal his beer? Uh-oh. You don't mess with a man's beer. Oh, look at that. There you go. Sharon is Karen. Absolutely. I mean, it's still light beer, but it, they're they're sharing. I love that. I love that Micro Man is getting all these little spots. I think they're fucking great. So good. Well, he's over, right? Let's use him. Absolutely. My nice shot of the yeah, you don't want to here. come between Mance and a light beer. No, absolutely. Just like you don't want to come between Stone Cold and a broken skull, right? That's right. No, oh, we got Cross and Cross next, which will be fantastic. I think that. Uh, I think that this will be a great test for Matt Cross because he is definitely MLW. I don't know if Killer Cross is going to get over. Now, it might have been that way when we weren't sure where, what was going to happen with Cross. But obviously, with him returning. I think Killer Cross that, goes, uh, goes over in this match. Yeah, I, I'm going to say he probably does go over. New shirt designs. Get them at uh, MLWshop.com or at uh, Hot Topic, depending on where you are. Not out in Canada yet, but hopefully coming north of the border soon. Yeah, Hot Topic apparently is getting a Canadian warehouse soon, so that should be a, a bonus. Absolutely, that'll make it easier for us to get our hands on some sweet MLW merch. And because even if you want to right order now. it from the states, like the sh- it's it's stupid shipping, like fifty dollars US to order stuff, so it's just not economical. Absolutely. Now they're going back to Hustle and Power, the follow from uh, Induka eliminating Calvin Tankman. Oh, here we go. All right, so they're they're good. Well, you know, a little, I, little respect. We good. We got to defend the tag titles. There it is. Yeah, I mean, I got my volume turned down a bit because I didn't want a lot of echo, so I couldn't make it out too much. But yeah, that's what I had caught. I have my volume turned off a little bit, but not enough, to, uh, like a little bit at least to hear certain things. But let's be honest, when MLW is cutting promos, that's outside of the production studio. I mean, it gets a little wangy. Hmm. Myron, there's Myron. Oh, here we go. Who we got? Alex? Oh, Calvin. Where is EJ at now? Let's think about the battle riot. I like it. 
Myron Myron's 19, getting in his head. Yeah. yeah. In Calvin Tankman's head about his loyalties with EJ or EJ and Duca's loyalties to him. Interesting. Brittany Blake uh, showing the highlights of her attacking Taya Valkyrie a few weeks ago. Uh, some speculation that Taya also might be uh, returning to the E. Yep, yep. Um, Talked about that last, I believe, on last week's episode. Yep. How, uh, so it'll be interesting to, see, made. interesting to see uh, what that does for the women's title picture. I don't mind Brittany Blake holding it down. I don't mind that at all. I think if, if Ty is going to lose to anybody, I think Blake's an excellent candidate. Considering that everybody, unfortunately, that they put their steam behind in the featherweight division, uh, like Willow Nightingale, obviously, you know, jumping jumping to AEW, and then Taya coming in to kind of fill that void, it's great. But at the same time, it it doesn't work for MLW's product with everybody kind of jumping ship. So I think putting it on Brittany Blake, she's young. I think she can hold down a division, given the right opportunities. And I'm interested to see what she does with it. Uh... I would like to see maybe Holiday get get a shot with that strange sangre. I think I think that I think that it's yeah. See, it's going to be Brittany Brittany and Taya next week, and I think Brittany's going to go over. I really do. Mm, interesting. I do. Oh, and we have a false count anywhere match. Nice. That's yeah. Be remember, great. it'll be in New York. That's if right. you can beat it here, you can yeah. beat them. Anyway, anywhere it's oh, here's Alicia. <laughs> I know I was trying not to talk over her, but you're you were singing off key, by the way. I can talk over Alicia. Well, I wasn't trying, okay. No, no, please don't start singing, Richard. You can make it anywhere. I love it. If you can make it here, you'll make it anywhere. I love it. Richard Holiday saying that if you can make it here, you can make it anywhere is a crock of shit. Yeah. Amazing. Balls count anywhere match does benefit Holiday because he can use a lot of weapons and he can, you know. Oh, they're on a, I see there's a Brooklyn Bridge like sound. Yeah, it's a nice, oh, nice I can, picture. Nice picture oh, it's a picture. I was going to say, I can see the corner of it. Yeah, it's a nice picture. I wasn't sure if it was supposed to be like a background. And you realize there's the photo, photo on the wall. The black and white's a nice touch. Absolutely. I love it. It, it. it shows power, and they're shooting them at a high angle, which is good. Shows more power there. So it was a smart promo. It was a great promo. Richard Holiday never never misses on a promo. He always knocks it out of the park. So here we're going to get Cross versus Cross. Or who are you taking on this one? I'm going to go with uh, Killer Cross is getting the win. Right on. Matt Cross style, very much so hybrid. He uh, was just actually wrestling in none of it. He nice. just wrestled up there uh, for, I believe it's called Arctic Championship Wrestling. It's the only pro wrestling like north of the, fuck, what's it called? The, the, the There's like a line. Like the Arctic, Arctic line? Something like sure. that? I'm not sure you've lost me. I don't really know geography too well. Clearly, uh, Fuck but you. yeah, you don't even know what it is. The Arctic Circle that's it, it's the only pro wrestling in the Arctic Circle. There you uh, go. You got it so that was cool. Yeah, they get the northern lights up there and stuff. The sun comes up at 11 a.m., it's pretty wild. So, uh, Matt Cross seemed to be enjoying himself. So, cool for him, and uh, hope you enjoyed your time in, in Canada there, bud. Now we've got Killer Cross making his entrance. Sans Scarlet. No, she's right there. Oh, there she is. Never mind. I think you're delayed a little bit. I think so, too. She's looking very frilly. Well, New York, you know what I mean? You got you to gotta spiff mm -hmm. it up for the New York crowd. I think Cross was more intimidating when he didn't have hair, you know? 
Yeah, I would say so too. Yeah, but I don't know. Dig it on the hair. Like I don't, I don't give him. a shit. Man's own aesthetic to choose to do. I just think when he had no hair when he was bald, he just looked more intimidating. My cross looks nice and warm with that jacket. Absolutely. I don't know. Killer Cross still looks pretty intimidating. We've got about 27 minutes less left, excuse me, in this episode. So I'm thinking they're going to go about, about 10, 15 here. Yeah, I want to say it's going to be a 10-minute match. And that'll oh, leave no. uh, they'll leave the rest for Davey Richards and Alex Kane. I don't think they would have Matt Cross come in to get squashed. So... The bell has rung. Cross is just kind of hanging out, looking at Cross. Cross looking back at him. Look at the size difference, though. Cross is so much bigger than Cross. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah, definitely Killer Cross has the height and reach and strength advantage in this one. But I'm going to give the speed advantage to Matt Cross and the agility. Now the crowd is waiting for a Cross to make the first move. Ah, waiting for a crowd. Nice. I like how you did that. And we're going to get a lockup. Lockup. No. And nope. Try to hit him with a knockout. Cross went for the strike. Cross rolled out of the way. Cross now calling for the crowd while Cross stares on. <sighs> Fuck, I forget how big Killer Cross is, man. That dude's big. Yeah, he's, he's very, very, it looks so, the size difference is juxtaposition here is huge right now between these two guys. Like, I can only kind of gauge oh, it to my that. own height. Kick right to the face. Like, I can put my arms over the ring ropes, the top rope, if I'm standing in the ring, and it's not, I don't have to stretch height-wise or anything like that. Matt Cross would have to do that. Killer Cross would be stretching down to do that. Oof, big forearm shot. And look at him grinding right into the ropes. Oh, oh I thought I thought Matt Cross went limp there. I was like, oh, did he kill him? It might have. Oh, look at the forearm shot on the back. Cross is hulking up, though. Getting ready. Getting ready for a comeback. Don't call it a comeback. Oh, not, not smart trying to lift up. No offense. Uh, took an elbow to the head, back of the head for his trouble. Oh, going to the ropes and oh, what a great sell from Matt Cross! Line. Yeah, this the, it's like a corkscrew flip. It's so it's such a cool sell. Takes a lot of agility to do that. Oh, nice! I love how we get no commercials. It's amazing. Press privileges, son. Yeah, that's right. Killer Cross having a little bit of laugh now. Well, he's pretty got, you know, cross, you know, in the middle of the ring. Great position. Choking him out right there. Scarlet yelling out orders from the ringside. He's got cross in really good position right now. He's got that hold, like, you know, in very, very tightly. Oh, here we go. I'm not, excuse me, guys. I'm not Hello? yawning because the, the classic me. I'm yawning because I'm tired. Guy. Oh, we're both tired. Now you just yawned. Guess what's going to happen? Nice. So, yeah, that's what happens when you show up for a meeting at 9 and your boss says, what are you doing here early? And you show her the meeting and it says 9. And she goes, oh, that must have been the old one. Ah. So the meeting doesn't start till 10. I'm going to go right up in my cross. car. Boom. Nice little. Oh, that was nice. Throws him into a Rana, like a weird Rana. Just to kind of get him off balance. Got a one count on the pin there. It was though. almost like a... I don't know what to describe that. It was like he hooked the head and rolled. It's kind of, kind of almost like, like a ASF. Rana takedown. Yeah, when yeah. ASF would kind of just spin around the body. Oh, Matt Cross still oh, could not that. get him oh, up in the fireman's game. Here comes a cross cutter. You got it. Man, you are so delayed. You're at least 10 seconds behind me. Really? Yeah. I'm already like... Matt Cross is going up to the top rope right now. Well, he's going up. He's still waving at the crowd. No, I got, him on, uh, I got him up, up top now. And now he's up top. I'm guessing yes. Killer oh, Cross is going to move here. Yeah. Nice. 
Oh, what a landing. Got him. Oh, and here, here, this is no good. He's going to put him to sleep like a baby. He's just going to rock him to sleep. Oh. Oh, he landed right on his fucking head. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. You're right. I don't know why Cross was getting mad at the ref there at the end. Maybe was he in the way? I'm not sure. Replay. Got to watch it again. See the replay of the finish. Oh, yeah. He laid him out. Oh, man. I hope Cross is not hurt from that one. Matt Cross, I mean. Killer Cross standing in the ring tall. But Cross gets over. I like it. He's clearly not hurt. Oh, nice. Oh, Roman, more dragging gate. Shun I love Skywalker. it. Yep. Uh, we got some uh, news that there will be further Dragon Gate wrestlers coming in. Yamato is a big deal. Very highly decorated wrestler from Dragon Gate. Sean Skywalker. But Sean Skywalker is the real deal. Like this, I've actually seen some of his stuff, and he's pretty wild. Uh, he's been lighting things up over there. Big prospect in Japan. Well, it's had rookie of the year, right? So that's awesome. Yeah. Oh yeah. I can't he's... wait to see. Uh, can't wait to see what he brings to the table. I hope he, they. He kind of put him put him in a really good match, man. I'd love to see him actually. I wouldn't mind seeing him go Lince Dorado. I think that'd be cool. Yeah, he broke out last year, so he's been he's been hot property since then. Nice, Davy Richards pre match promo. All right, main event time. Get your picks in, ladies and gentlemen. Put them in the comments below who you thought was going to win. Well, let's let, it, let us know your thoughts after the fallout of the match. And obviously, right now, as I'm talking, they are promoting the Opera Cup. Uh, that's going to be starting up relatively oh, soon. Oh, it is Opera Cup time again, it isn't is, it? It is Opera Cup time, yeah. If you could pick somebody in the roster right now, an early front runner for the win this year of the Opera Cup, who would you pick? Hard to say. Uh, man. We still don't know where the Opera Cup is, by the way. As you remember correctly, Dave yeah, that's true. They're backstage. still continuing to investigate the whereabouts. We do need to still find out what happened to the Opera Cup last year. Tips oh, at MLW.com. Uh -huh, they're asking for information. I love it. So next week's going to be pretty banging, man. We got we email some tips Ridley in. Blake for the Featherweight Championship. We've got the Falls Count Anywhere between Holiday and uh, Hammerstone, which should be great. And now it's main event time. Alex Gain versus Davey Richards with the National Openweight title on the line. Oh, and we're back we from oh, commercial. Hammer. Hammer. Ooh, EJ claims that uh, Hammer's been ducking. Hmm. And that Holiday does not need another shot. He does. What happened? Who got knocked out? Bud Heavy Tankman. again? No, it's Tankman. Oh, it's probably EJ. Oh, again with the AO? Yeah. Who's AO? I'm not Who's sure. The, well, the same thing from last week, remember? Yep. He's saying he has nothing to do with this. Well, this is something big because they're they're uh, building up to it. So this is somebody or something that they're gonna. Absolutely, no, you're absolutely right. Where the mystery unfolds, and don't forget, guys, if you have any tips on the whereabouts of the Opera Cup, please email tips at mlw.com. We need to find the Opera Cup. We need to bring it back so that it can be you know fought over and won. Okay, please reach out to people you know, all your contacts. Rob, you too. Get on it. Find I out. will. Tale of the tape, 100 plus suplexes, takedown accuracy, submission attempts, corner man, uh, BJJ ground game for uh, Davey Richards, and experience. Hmm. 
Steve has been around a while. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, even with the time off, he's been around a while for sure. And he's not out yet. There he is. There he is. And this guy is filming the ring. He's got some cauliflower ears, man. Absolutely. What happens when you get punched in the side of the head a lot? Damn, it was a four-year sabbatical he took off, eh? It was. Four years he walked away from pro wrestling. National Open Weight Champion. It's Alex Kane. Alex Kane looks like he's ready to go. Nine months he's been the champion, though. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. That's One a very run. respectable run. Absolutely. For a first, uh, first championship run in MLW, absolutely. He said, those people all came to see me. Yeah, their video packages look great, man. Their intro videos and stuff, they look really good. Yeah, the production you know, value has definitely increased over the last uh, last couple of seasons for sure. Uh, production value is better and they're they're i find that they're using the the best camera angles for the spaces that they have mm -hmm. so which is great well compared to they were running at what crash lucha last year and like an outdoor poor wrestlers were getting manhandled as they're getting carried out on a stretcher mm -hmm. yeah you're talking about uh in uh, mexico right yeah 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 when alex uh when somebody like fully grabbed alex hammerstone's butt as he was getting carried yep. out by the uh the uh, soldiers of uh, Cesar Durant. They're going to get about 15 minutes, it looks like here. Give or take. A little bit of ringside called you to start it off. The crowd is definitely behind Alex Gain right now. I can hear a lot of boom IA chants. Clearly. I can hear it too. You know, a lock up here. Let's see. What are the odds that Davy Richards does the cartwheel uh flip and then back bridge and then kick the kicks alex kane in the face move well not so good goes for an old school you know old school uh oh i didn't say right now but it's gonna happen this match oh yeah for sure nice i like it went for the takedown kane used the advantage got a quick two count Yeah, I mean, the, the matchup here with Alex Kane being the suplex assassin, but Davey Richards being uh, well-versed in grappling, it's it's more of a wrestling match than anything else here. And I, I like I like the story that they're telling right now, right? Go go old school. Go, go uh, you know, go Greco-Roman with mm -hmm. it. And that's what they're doing, and it's great. You know, uh, matches like this are, are special in a lot of ways when you get these two technical wrestlers that can actually pull this stuff off and pull it off well. Yeah, Alex getting his arm wrenched there by Davey. Davey twisting him up. Twisting him up. There you go. 
Went for the takedown, didn't get it. Got position. Oh, Let's nice go. headlock. Yeah, we're not. We knew Down we weren't going to get a lot of high flying in this. We knew we weren't going to get a lot on of Alex. ground and pound. We knew we were going to. get No, this was going to be a technical, more technical yeah, match. Absolutely. Oh, there you go. A little bit of high. Looks flying. like Mr. Thomas is is jaw jacking with a fan. Absolutely. Oh, Alex almost, hangs oh, angle under the ropes. Uh, he's too close to the ropes. Well, he rolled through. Ice. Davy Smart though. Every time Alex Kane gets gets a little bit of power, gets a little you know uh, momentum going, Davy rolls out of the ring. Davy rolls on out. Yeah. But that exploder, Davy's still feeling the effects. Ooh, kick to the face. Oh. Wow. Alex just using his sheer power right now. Well, power and size, right? I mean, he's got the advantage in both those categories. Oh, Mr. Thomas, you know, telling Kane to stop jaw jacking and stay on him. Well, could have had a three. Could have had a three. I mean, hey, remember what happened to Ray Jackson in Bloodsport? He had Chong Lee beat, and then he stopped to gloat and, you know, got his head knocked in. You're right. You're right. I will fight in the Kumite. <laughs> You're not Japanese. You're not a Tanaka. I fight on behalf of the Tanaka Jojo. Ooh, big chop, man. Yeah. Davey's selling great, though. Davey looks pretty beat down right now. Absolutely, but you know what? They're they're selling the Alex right? is Alex is gloating. Gloating never usually works. But out Davey well. could be playing possum. The referee asking Davey's ready to keep going. Look, Davey's getting mad, yeah, trying to angry. shake it off. Yeah, he's getting angry. Kane with another strike to the side of the head. The wolf is coming out. Davey looking just utterly beat down. Kane's stomping him down. But uh, Davey will get mad. You don't want to awaken the wolf within. But also, Kane taking a lot of time to gloat, which is never good. No. He's, I mean, he's got Mr. Thomas there to back him up. Davey Richards has nobody. This is true. Well, I mean, he is the lone wolf, right? Can't really be the lone wolf if you're, uh, you know, you got a posse with you. Hey, every wolf has a pack, man. Not really. There are lone wolves out there, Rob. Come on. You know this. Yeah, they're rare. They're rare. Littlest hobo. Go knock the hobo, man. He was a G. Oh, wow. Dude. Launch, Davey. Wow, he tossed him into the buckle. Yep. Now that's going to leave a mark. Yeah, that's what she said. It is a little premature. He's not he's not done yet. You gotta stay on him here, Alex. A lot of time to set up whatever he's thinking about doing. If you can beat it there. Oh, Davey getting some shots to the gut there now. Any, oh. Fighting out of it. This could backfire on Alex. Big time. This may be the opening this game. This could end up being a... for. Oh. Yeah, no. Look like at Mr. Thomas just right now. Oh, yeah, working there, curious. ready to lend aid if needed. I mean, the minute Mr. Thomas steps in the ring and does lend aid, it would be a disqualification. Davey would get the win, but no title would change hands. Right.
Looks like we're going to see a superplex here. Alex fighting back off the top turnbuckle. Oh, wow. Davey taking some headshots here. Look at the look on Davey Richards' face. Ooh. Ooh. What's he going to do? Oh, headbutt just headbutting. Headbutt headbutt. Just headbutt headbutting headbutt. his hand. Good. Still real to me, damn it. That's a lot of headbutts, man. You'd be a knocked lot of out. Headbutts. Like, Kane could be out cold. You're going to have a sore neck tomorrow, bud. Mr. Thomas looking concerned. There it is. Boom. Oh, you got all of that. <clears throat> There's the superplex. Just rattled the ring. Dave Richards did take a lot of the punishment there. Absolutely took a lot of it. A great superplex. Just couldn't, couldn't count. I don't think either on. guy's totally done yet. Oh, no. He'd be getting pissed. Kane getting pissed. I'm going to go forearm for forearm here. No, ducks out from the corner. Pulls his leg. What's he going for here? Probably a snapdragon or snap nair. Dragon screw? Dragon screw. Ooh. How like a wolf for here? it. Didn't get the double stomp. Rolls him up there. That was a wild, like, little twist to that roll. He ended up on trailer hitch. Oof. Wow, you made it. Break the hold. Richard's not in any rush to break that hold either. No, nah, ref got him out of it. Sorry if it's so quiet there, folks, but this is just such a good match. Yeah, we're just enjoying the match here. We hope you are too if you're watching along with us. If you're not watching, this is probably the most boring podcast you've ever listened to or near to it. Um well, but yeah, we're in, just we're watching these strikes usual, from Alex uh, King. High energy moods today, okay? Oh my God, what wow. a roundhouse, though! Dave Ridge wow, kicked Kane him in no a cell. huge. Wow. Oh, look at the clothesline! Holy shite! Wow, Davey's got him. Okay, these guys are hitting hard. Wow, I thought Kane might have actually had it there. <sighs> Mister Thomas, now. This could be a situation where Mr. Thomas uh, does Kane more harm than help. Oh, slid down the back. Got oh. a bank lock. He rolls into it, yep. Oh, rolled out of it. Kicked him off. Oh. Now he's going for the I kicked him stop. in the dick when he rolled off. <laughs> he might still might not get this. Yeah, you got it. Double stop. King, what? King in a kick out. One. Oh, brain buster. Kane kicks out at two. Wow. 
Look at all he had to do just to get a two there. Wow. There it is. Wow. <laughs> Congrats. And there's your new Richards. national open weight champion. New national open weight champ. You know what? Alex Kane losing sucked, but uh what a way I think Alex Kane got over huge in this one too. The fact that Davey had to do so much to put him away shows the strength of the tenacity of Alex Kane for sure, man. Boumaye did not lose a step in this one. If anything, Alex Kane just proved Absolutely. that he can go toe to toe with you know one of the best out there, Davy Richards, and you know, hang in right up until the end. Davy had to do so much to put him away for that three. It was insane. The fact that he kicked out of that one was incredible. Yep. Yeah, like it really was. The ring, like Alex put in, they one. both put in a great performance. Just really a fun match. Yeah, great match. They put on a great performance, man. Yeah, to hit him with like a neutralizer. Davy Richards finally got his gold. And uh, since this has now occurred, oh, what's uh, going on here? Myron we prior, we have since seen. I was just going to say, we've since seen Davey Richards defending this belt uh, in the NWA, in fact, at the Absolutely. recent pay-per-view. Which is odd, because they never let Alex Kane really take it anywhere, but as soon as Davey gets it, he's allowed to defend it pretty much on a regular basis, wherever he chooses. That was kind of weird. That was odd. Myron Reed looking down, Davey. So, Abumaye... Oh, Myron doesn't need the match against Davey right now. He's got he's got uh, the middleweight title. And there it is. So that is this week's MLW Fusion. And, uh, you know, all in all, it was a great match. Sorry if we were not at our best spirits today. It's just been a very long week. And we're both uh, very long tired. Day, I, started long week. My, I started my weight loss journey. And uh, yesterday was day one of putting in the work. And tomorrow is day two, and I'm not looking forward to it. I'm stiff as hell. But, hey, the grind is real. You got to stay on top of things. Uh, Rob, what did you like? What did you not like about this week's Fusion? Uh, there wasn't a whole bunch I didn't like. Uh, it was more wrestling than segments. And, you know, some weeks it's more segments and, and less. Uh, I think also because with the pro wrestling TV uh, and factoring in ads and stuff like that, I think the times are going to be pretty steady around 45 minutes now for, for episodes. Mm -hmm. uh, so a little bit less time because sometimes they would go up to an hour with an episode. So we're going to see what happens with that, squeezing in all that extra content. Uh, but yeah, we got three three good matches out of it. I enjoyed it. I didn't think it was a bad episode at all. Uh, how you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. Looking forward to uh, next week, Thanksgiving. Uh, we're going to get Holiday versus Hammer in the Falls Count Anywhere. We're going to get Taya versus Blake for the Featherweight Championship. We know that, and there's always usually a third match that'll be announced, or maybe it'll be just a surprise. Who knows? But American Thanksgiving is around the corner. To, so to all of our watchers and listeners from the USA, happy early Thanksgiving. We'll be along for the ride next week uh, as we watch along on your Thanksgiving. Our Thanksgiving happened uh, roughly six weeks before yours, five or six, give or take. So, yeah, we are yeah, celebrating our Turkey Day. But uh, happy Thanksgiving to you and yours. Uh, have a safe and happy holiday. Don't drink and drive, all that stuff. And uh, we will be back next week, as always, with another Rewind. I'm your host, your boy, George McKay, and that is the one and only. Uncle Bobby B, baby. It takes so long to say his name. All our socials are in the link below. Follow us, like us, subscribe, all that good stuff. Comment, let us know your thoughts. Again, I'm sorry this episode was so subpar with us, but it was not a take on the Fusion. Fusion has been solid since the premiere back. Every three ep The three episodes thus far have been really, really good and entertaining. We're just in a blah mood today, mm -hmm. you know. Sometimes you have the energy, sometimes you don't. Today's just one of those days, guys. Absolutely. And we thank right, you for bearing with us. Oh my God! Peace, love, and wrestling. We'll see you next time. Adios. Cause I don't give a fuck what you say. Yeah, I'ma do shit my way. So you can go kick rocks. I'ma stack bricks up, build what I want to make.